Hi, I'm Dan Hernandez, and thank you very much for picking up this video on Barracuda Fishing. Well, on the video that you're about to watch, we have 60 minutes of great Barracuda action with a lots of information. You'll be hearing from some of the leading skippers on the coast on different techniques for fishing for Barracuda. And we'll be showing you some techniques that I really enjoy. Now, it doesn't matter if you're fishing like here at Kelly Island or locally Horseshoe Calp area, doesn't really matter. All the techniques that you're gonna learn today will help you wherever you fish or anywhere in California for Barracuda. This week's Sport Fishing is brought to you by Shakespeare, manufacturers of America's number one selling fishing rod, the Ugly Stick. By Bomber Lures, for both fresh and saltwater fishing. By Rebel Lures. By Vessel Assist, be safe while out on the water. By Food Saver. By Mustad. Be sharp, use Mustad. And by Lowry's, the difference is delicious. A skipper just made a move right now. We're fishing for the Gale Force. Fishing with skipper Dan Salas. And uh, we just made a little move. We're down by Newport right now. And he's got us in one of the biggest schools of barracuda I've ever seen. Everywhere you look, there's fish. They're jumping all over the place. I'm going to show you right now how easy it is to catch barracuda. Just have to be careful when you're on a party boat throwing iron jigs. This is an iron jig, a light jig, made by kicker jigs. I'm just going to toss it out back here and show you real quickly how easy it is. You always make sure behind you it's clear. Make a nice, easy cast. See the rod I'm using, it's a Calstar rod, it's a jig rod, especially rod. See all these fish just breaking on the surface out here. There's a fish. All these fish are just jumping everywhere. There you go. Need a gaff? <laughs> oh, I'm on. Oh. I'm on. See, when you get bit on a barracuda, you don't want to set the hook, you want to just keep grinding. Here, we got a nice big fish here. Big legal fish. I'm gonna go ahead and bounce them up. Put the reel and free spool, lift it up, and drop it in the boat. That's what you want to do. Put some slack in the lines, that jig does not become a weapon. And that's how easy it is. That can. Going out. Nice quality fish. Woo! Okay, come on. Give it. Bring it. Bring it back. Bring it back. Give it more. Keep it. Okay. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Stop. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Okay. You 
Another barracuda right here, just grinding it right up. Oh, another big one. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and bounce it. Okay, guys, coming over. Lift straight up, put in freeze pool, and that's it. All right, Dan, get over here. This is Dan Salas, our skipper. Another nice barracuda. Put us on another quality fish, and again, we are having another great trip with Dan. His boat operates daily out of uh, Alley Harbor Sport Fishing, mainly charters for small groups. You want to charter a boat, this boat's perfect. He's one of the few minority skippers, the owner operator, the whole coast of California. Besides that, he's a great skipper, nice quality fish. What's the key right now? Just the volume of fish coming by? Oh, there's a tremendous volume of barracuda and sand bass moving into the local area this year. You know, this is the after effects of El Nino. You know, the water's getting back to normal and uh, it's just a tremendous amount of fish. Everything's a little bit late this year, but they're sure making up for it, yeah. Quality fish, beautiful fish. And just real simple, you can catch them on bait, but a lot of guys that get cut off if you're fishing bait. That's why right now we're fishing the iron jigs. And the big advantage of that is you don't have to run back to the bait tank. And if the fish eats that much of the jig, you still, your line's protected. That's the whole idea. You get bigger fish on the bigger jigs. Yeah, what we're finding right now. Beautiful barracuda. There's hardly any shorts mixed in. Some of these fish have been going up to seven, eight, nine pounds. That's great. All right, way to go, Dan. Thank you, Dan. Okay, real quickly, let me show you the knot that I'm using for today's fishing here for barracuda. Now, like I said, you always check the line, especially uh, when you're fishing for a fish that have really sharp teeth, and make sure there's no frays in there. Or even if I was fishing along the bottom and there might be a lot of structure, the line might run across, I, I check my line. Okay, this feels pretty smooth, so I'm gonna fold it in half. And the knot we're gonna tie is a Palomar knot. Got a large hook here. This is a size um, 4.0 live bait hook. And just slide it like that, making a loop. Go through the loop, <laughs> and then take it all the way around the hook. Slowly slide it up, wet it, just pull down it really good. Yeah, those dikes, here they are. And then I never like to use my fingers to pull in case it slips. So grab a pair of dikes, pull it really tight. And if you pull tight here and the line breaks, don't worry about it. It's much better to have the line break right now than while you're hooked up to the fish. And we'll take this tag end piece of line, cut it, and we'll just keep that in the boat. And then we'll, at the end of the day, we'll pick up all these little pieces of line. And that's it, that's what it looks like. Now we're fly line fishing, so all we're gonna do is just grab a, a bait out of the tank. And we're gonna go ahead and nose hook it. Just like that. And this is what we mean by just like that. And this is what we mean by fly lining fishing. Just no sinkers, no nothing, just your mono and your hook. Go ahead and make a short cast. And we're fishing out here in, in uh, Horseshoe Cow area. Not over any major structure. We just found an area where there's a lot of fish, birds working. Like I'm already bit. My line's just ripping off there. I'm gonna go ahead. Next time it runs, there it goes. Put the reel in gear. Let my rod tip load up. Look at my rod tip here. When my rod tip's starting to bend. When it starts to bend really good. There you go. There you go. Point in the slack. Let that happen one more time. slack right till it starts to bend and then that's when I'm going to drive the hook home. There we go. Drive the hook right into the fish. Here we go. This might be a little bit nicer fish. You'll see the way that that's the head of the fish just bouncing that rod tip like that. Just a bonus fish. Do everything else the same that you normally do. So we're going to pump the rod a little bit harder. Try to get a lot of line back in here and just keep the fish right along the boat. And when we get the fish to color, we'll let our partner know. And Larry will come over and gaff the fish for us. That's what we call stick the fish for us. It's not very often they we can come out and try to target one fish, but it's so wide open all the other fish are biting too. Is we're not 
not even really on the spot. We're just kind of in an area. Well, welcome to small boat fishing. <laughs> This is unbelievable. I got deep color. Do you? I guess I I'm gonna have to. Yet. Maybe it's my fish over there, you see. No? Oh no, I got deep color too. This is gonna be tricky. You have to gap your own fish. Yeah. So one of us gets it. I get it. It's ready. Oh, I got a big one. Okay, right. there's one in the boat. And I'll get it unhooked and... Here, I got one here. I need a gaff. I'll get this into the Just give me the gaff. Well. Give me the gaff. Give me the gaff. Wait a minute. Yellowtail. All right, beautiful head gaff. Woo! Oh, that's a nice one. That's the one you cut. That's the one I cut. It's a little difference in size. Yeah. <laughs> Just probably go about the... 20 pounds. Yeah. It's a nice fish. Here's my fish. There's a Larry fish. <laughs> <laughs> Coming all different sizes. Yeah. Just a bonus fish. We're really out here trying to catch some barracuda. Show you some variety of fishing to do from a small boat and get a beautiful yellow tail like this. Great fish. Yeah. All right, guys. Good deal. Woo! Now let's try to catch some barracuda instead of yellow tail. Yeah. Okay, when we talk about iron jig fishing, this is what we mean by iron jig. Actual piece of iron, steel, metal, aluminum, doesn't matter, but it's solid metal. And this particular lure is made by Salas. And it's called the JP or jackpot lure. It's got a triple hook. Some lures are designed with single hooks. That's what this is here. It makes it a lot easier if you have a lot of small fish to shake them off. Triple hook's a little bit easier to catch a fish. So you can start off with that. And for this type of fishing, I really recommend that you go with a custom rod or a, at least a jig rod. You want to make sure you have a jig rod. And this particular jig rod is made by Calstar. And it's a, their 90 series. It's a beautiful rod for throwing the iron. When you're fishing a small boat like this, you can get away with a smaller rod. This 90 series are nine foot rods. They have the 100 series. And then you can also cut down to a rod that's eight feet long if you're in a small boat. But I'm real comfortable with this nine foot rod, so that's what I'm gonna use right now. Got a new reel with 30 pound test line. And just gonna cast it out. And let the jig, normally I would just let the jig hit the water and quickly grind it in. But we're looking at the fish finder. Fish finder's telling us that the fish are 30 to 50 feet deep. So I'm gonna let this jig sink for about a count of 10. And I'm gonna put it in gear, put the rod under my left arm, and just grind. And with this sort of technique, what you wanna do is just make that jig just swim from side to side, kick from side to side. You're better off being a little too slow working the jig than too fast. And uh, it's one of the biggest mistakes I see made all the time on party boats is the guys are working the jigs way too fast, thinking they're fishing for wahoo or yellowtail or something. And uh, you know, for barracuda, you really gotta fish this nice and slow, real deliberate, give it a nice big target for the fish, and they will hit it. Oh, right there, right at the boat. There he goes. See how I didn't set the hook or nothing? Fish is right here, right at the boat. Here he is. Oh, 
first cast. That's the way you like to see it. I'm just gonna grab the jig. And then from here, we take the hooks out. Nice fish, nice quality fish. And as a rule on the party boats, you'll see that the bigger fish taken on the boats, and usually the jackpot fish are taken on these iron jigs. There you go, I didn't even have to even do it. Just shook right off. That's it. This is how simple it is. Just the biggest part about fishing iron jigs is casting, is making sure that you don't hit anybody, snag anyone. So you always look behind you yourself where you're casting, look behind you. Make sure there's nothing back there. You're never gonna miss the water. So you always make sure there's nothing there and cast over. Jig's always gonna hit the water. Never have to worry about it. Just make that jig swim from side to side. Oh, we got some fish breaking around us. Those of you freshwater fishermen, this is probably unbelievable the size gear we use for the saltwater fishing, but I tell you, you gotta do it. You got bigger fish around like this. Oh, there's some big fish breaking back there. Big then, fish. When you're fishing barracuda, you can go to hit bigger gear too. It's not like calico bass fishing where you might want to get smaller gear, lighter line, right. smaller hooks. Well, that's what's nice about the jig because you start getting your line cut a lot of times by uh, barracuda swallowing it too deep. You can fish a bigger jig. Ooh, just got bit. You can fish a bigger jig and not have to worry about that. I got fish right on my jig, right out there, right on. Ooh, he just got it. He got him. Here we go. Yep, you're on. I can see him. Yeah, he bit it right on the surface. Let's take it nice and easy here. Boy, he was all over that jig, Larry. Yeah. <clears throat> and that's a lot of fun to watch when uh, your jig's coming through the surface and then you see a big boil right on top <laughs> yeah, of it. Yeah, right on top of it. Anytime you're fishing the surface, it's a lot of fun, especially these guys. And just because we're not keeping any right now, it doesn't mean that they're not good eating fish. We got some delicious recipes in our cookbook. Oh, I got for one. For barracuda. Oh, came off. This is a nice fish. This is by far the biggest one of the day. There he goes. He's just swimming away right there on the surface. You got one too, Larry? Had one, came off. I'm using the single hook uh, jig and I'm finding that I have to vary the speed of the jig a little bit. I've been just cranking on it and nothing's been happening. But if I vary the speed, I get some bites. And there he is. Double, ooh. I just got nailed on mine. So I tried, I was just doing a stop and go retrieve. I got Came barracuda, up on yeah. Small barracuda on a single, single hook jig. And those are a lot easier to release the fish on. I'll do this one. I'll just run my hand down the down to the jig, and I'll just. Whoop. What I'll do with this one? I'll just run my hand down to the jig, grab the jig, turn it upside down. And the fish is gone. Nice release. Get back to fishing. Get back to catching. <laughs> this is too easy. Let the jig hit the water. Count a little bit. Put the reel in gear. And then just stick it under your arm. Nice and easy. This is one of the best barracuda bites there's been for a while. I just tell you, it's great. You can get them on a variety of baits. After this, we're gonna try hard plastic baits. Normally baits you see for freshwater bass fishermen. We're gonna just show you how versatile these baits are. Larry and I are gonna throw a couple on the surface. We'll show you barracuda come up here and eat them. Ooh, Larry just had three barracuda after his jig yeah. right there. 
Here's my jig right on the surface. See if we can get a fish come right on the surface and explode on it. Come on now. Ooh, there's fish underneath it. You can see them underneath it. Nope. Wouldn't come up. Man. There's so many fish here today. It's unbelievable. I tell you, you just got to get out here. If you really want to get good at barracuda fishing or any certain style of fishing, you just got to spend a lot of time on the water. And, you know, thanks to my job, I'm able to do that. Here's another fish, another fine fish. Right here. I'm trying to get him to spit the jig out. Whenever you want them to spit the jig out, they won't. When you don't want them to, they do. Thanks, right there. So he's got only one hook in him, so go ahead and just grab the, any one of the other hooks. Shake it off. Well, thanks for watching our video on barracuda fishing. I hope you learned a lot. Remember, it doesn't matter where you fish in Southern California. All these techniques will work from a small boat, large party boat. Just get out in the water, go fishing, and catch yourself some barracuda. Well, thanks again for picking up our video. You can find a wide selection of our videos at fishing tackle stores near you. Hope you pick up one of the others and hope to see you on the water real soon. Thank you again.